gamers this is ngg here with a pickups video this time it is for march 2022 i'm gonna start off with my the things i ordered the furthest away to the soonest um so the first thing i ordered play asia for me it takes a month for the items to arrive to me so i never expect them to be sooner so i ordered this last month and it came this month all right let's get into the games the first game I ordered was Alliance Alive. This is the HD remastered. This is remastered from the 3DS, which I actually own that copy, but I own the collector's edition, um, which came with the music CD soundtrack, but I doubt that I'll ever play that version. So I picked up the Switch version. I hear it's a really good JRPG. Um, I like the animation style that they chose for this. Um, and I just wanted to play it. Unfortunately, this is not the English copy uh, because I have to pick up my copy at Asia. And so, yeah, I do like this box cover much better though. The next game I have for you is Fatal Frame. Now, I picked this one up also from Play Asia. This was, uh, I don't know if it was a Play Asia exclusive, but it's by Koli Tecmo. They didn't bring the game over here. I don't know if there's English text in the back. Oh, actually, there is English text in the back perfect 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 um this is a horror game where you're taking pictures to try to kind of get the souls see the souls or the the monsters i don't know what it is in this game but i know this was a wii u exclusive for a long time so i was definitely interested in picking it up the next thing i got at play asia is little busters converted edition um, so this is supposed to be like, I don't know if it's like a coming of age story there. I know there are kids in high school and it focuses on the story about all these kids. And I hear it's a really, really long BN. Um, so I am really trying to get into visual novels. And so I'm picking up a lot of the ones that are highly rated or people are saying are great. And I'm hoping I like them. Um, if not, hopefully they're worth something later on in life. Um, but I definitely am picking up a lot of these VNs. The next game I picked up is from Play Asia as well. Now this one had an American release, but I didn't jump on it because I didn't know what it was. And then I, I watch a lot of people's collection videos. And a lot of people that own this game say it's really, really good. Um, so definitely, definitely want to give it a try before the second part comes out. I'm looking forward to playing this one and then getting the second part. I don't think I will wait next time on the second part because I did not want to order the, this is the European version, not the, the American version, but um, at least it's in English. I just don't like that the spine doesn't align because the spines of the American ones are higher up. But my whole, my whole collection is going to be lots and lots of different ways because I get things from everywhere. <laughs> Um, so that's for the last of my Play Asia games. The next game I picked up was the only game I picked up at Best Buy, which was The Cruel King and the Great Hero. This is the storybook edition. There is only one edition. I don't know why they call it the storybook edition, like they released this game by itself. But it comes with a lot of stuff inside. All the stuff you see here, I think it comes with a digital soundtrack, which I am not a fan of. I would have rather the CD soundtrack. The last one came with an actual CD from the same, this is from the same makers or creators of Liar Princess and the Blind Prince. That one goes for a lot. I still have yet to play it, but I know my sister played the other game in this series or I don't know if it's a series or just the same style. Um, and she really loved it. So she played, beat it like three or four times. The next few games I picked up at GameStop. The first one I picked up was the Silver Case Deluxe Edition. Um, this is an old visual novel by Studio Studio 5160. I don't remember. This. It's the same makers as the Travis games. And I hear that you'll have references to that game and a couple of their other games in here. This is a murder mystery. Oh, murder mystery or detective. Um, visual novel. I can't remember if it's murder or it's just detective. Visual novel. And like I said, I'm getting into a lot of visual novels. So I'm just picking this one up. I didn't pay full price for this one. I definitely bought this one on sale um, for like 20 off. Um, I price matched with Best Buy for this one. 
the next visual novel I picked up was Death Mark. Death Mark is a visual novel um, where you are marked with a specific mark. You have to like try to get that mark removed before a certain amount of time before you die. And so you're going through the game trying to remove the mark. I think he, they make a choice in the beginning whether you can choose to believe that that quote unquote mark is really a death mark or not. Um, and I do like that premise of the game. I don't know. I've never seen any gameplay because I feel like visual novel gameplay will be so like spoiler heavy. I haven't. Which is going to be hard to do these reviews for this. I'll probably have to make my reviews on visual novels spoiler heavy reviews um but we'll see um hoping to get into this one in some second part the first part of the spirit hunter series i think and ng is the second one so i'm looking forward to playing that one as well the next thing i got was a game called portal knights now um portal knights is a minecraft type buildy game um, I think it's more child oriented if I'm not mistaken. I know that I finished Minecraft, Dragon Quest Builders 1 and 2 and I spent hours on those games and I really don't like building games. I, at least I say I don't like building games and then I spend hours on them so I might, I might be a closet build your game lover well i don't i don't know i don't know um but yeah i definitely picked up this one because it was the only one that's not owned in my household because we own the lego builders that i haven't played either but definitely wanted to pick this one up as well because i can't find it anymore at best buy for the 20 dollars. so i picked it up um at gamestop uh the last gamestop pickup i have is called rustler and now this is Grand Theft Auto meets Renaissance um, or Medieval Times because it is literally what that is uh, when you read the information about the game. You're like world building but you're world building renaissance time and I think it's hilarious the things that I saw in the trailer. I'm hoping it's good. It was a cheapy game and I was like yeah I'll get it. It's only $14.99. I looked at the review. I actually even read the box info and it had me dying. It was like, uh, his, explore the historically inaccurate sandbox. I was like, okay, historically inaccurate. At least they know, at least they are aware, right? So I was very excited about that and I look forward to playing this game as well. The next games I picked up at Video Games of New York. Um, one of them is a game, this is from One Print Games, um, but I ordered it, I, I picked it up there. Um, this is Eternal Radiance, and this is a visual novel meets JRPG, so it's really J uh, text heavy JRPG is what I'm hearing, so it could be a mixture of both JRPG and visual novel, and I kind of like that, so it'll kind of get me into visual novels. Um, in the beginning and so I'm excited about it I'm excited to play it she's a squire trying to rank up I think and trying to be a better squire the next game I have for you is if my heart had wings this is also a coming of age story in a high school setting this deals with um, this aviation club if I'm not mistaken um, and I really, I, I missed out the first time because this was a Play Asia exclusive. You see East Asia soft on the bottom. But I didn't pick it up there and I kind of regretted it. I'm so happy that Video Games of New York picks up some of these Play Asia games so I didn't feel like I missed out. Alright, so the next thing I got was in, from GameStop. This was a pre-order bonus if you pre-ordered Dying Light like a neck thing um so it has two sides and it's like a neck warmer of some type um yeah i opened one obviously but i'm gonna keep the second one sealed i didn't expect them to give me two actually they gave me three but i was with somebody so the third person grabbed that last one and the last item i have for you is like a gun for my wii and wii u gun games um yeah i just I have some Resident Evil games and like the Link 
crossbow training game that I kind of wanted to play with like a gun type thing and I think it would be more fun to play like that. I was gonna say funner but funner is not a word uh, to play like that and so I definitely picked this up as well. I only paid five dollars for it um, used. So these are all my pickups for the month of March 2022. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys for watching. Happy gaming. Bye.